Whenever you're ready. Defcon, what's up? I'm here with Adam and Jeff uh, from OWASP. They're doing uh, recon here at DEF CON, and we're going to share a little bit about what they do and what's happening. Take it away, guys. Yeah, it's great to be here always. Uh, many years at DEF CON, but we are here to uh, help educate everyone on the OWASP Mass project. Uh, many are familiar with this uh, project. We did uh, a workshop. For me, it was at Red Team Village. Uh, Adam over here uh, had a, a workshop at Recon Village, and it went pretty good. What do you think, Adam? Yeah, it was uh, pretty good. Uh, this is my second time being here at DEF CON, but this is my first time having a talk here, so even at, it was good for me regardless. It was just a surreal opportunity. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I had a great time, so I mean, yeah, that's about it. So I heard a lot of good and great, but you know I want to get down to the meat of things. I want to find out some some more interesting things about what you guys do with recon, about uh, what's going on with the mass. Word on the street, Adam, is that you're on fire, man. You're you're really contributing here to the to the project, and you know I we all appreciate that because this is for the people, uh, what y'all are doing. And uh, yeah, if we want to just uh, elaborate a little bit on on what you're doing with recon and and what that means. Good question. Yeah, so actually, many people probably no noticed we have not had a release from a mass for almost 12 months. Uh, it was a little after uh, Recon 30, or sorry, uh, DEF CON 31, because we've been pretty busy. <clears throat> people like Adam have been pretty busy. Uh, we've got a lot, we've refactored this thing like crazy. Um, there's a lot of new features. We've expanded, broad, broadened the capabilities. So once upon a time, people thought of this as a subdomain enumerator. This is an OSINT collection engine slash platform. There's so much more we can do with it, so much you can find out about an organization and the people potentially working there. And that's what we're here to tell people is we've, we've taken this pretty far and there's a lot to learn about it, a lot you can do with it now. So essentially what I'm hearing is, uh, you know, it, with what you, what you guys are working on is, is a way to find out pretty much any, uh, any and all digital traces of a person, organization, whatever it may be, uh, find that out online and then essentially create a, I don't know if you, what type of, uh, if it's a database or what's, what do you present that as ultimately, but um, and you're able to present that and make whoever uh, requests this, uh, th they're able to find out, okay, this is what somebody knows about me, even as a person or as a company. Is that right? If not right, pretty close. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, please elaborate because I'm you know, the layman, that's the layman version. So. Yeah, no, pretty good assessment. Okay. <clears throat> the, the idea being... I want to know the the digital footprint of an organization, or you know, or like you said, it could even be an individual online, and it goes and does the OSINT collection, which is open source intelligence, to get as much information as we can about that digital footprint on the internet, so that if someone such as an adversary had that organization or person in their crosshairs or were interested in them. We now know what do they know. I mean, that's what it's about. It's about the adversarial perspective. It's about knowing what the enemy knows. So this sounds also like it'd be heavily used in politics as well, and between political candidates, or and this is very relevant right now. You're seeing a lot of mudslinging ads, a lot of uh, whatever information he said, she said, kind of commercials coming out. Have uh, are these parts of the clients that are also coming out to kind of dredge up or find information or digital footprints? about candidates? If so, I haven't heard about it yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe it's better that way. Yeah, I, I, don't, I hope I'm not opening up a can of worms over here. You know, but um, <laughs> I do get plenty of corporations that come to me saying, we are using this. We'd like to learn more about leveraging it further. And how can you help us with that? So like, there's, there's a lot of interest uh, at the enterprise level with this open source uh, project. And so, I mean, obviously open source, you're doing this for the people, so you're not gatekeeping this and turning it into some for-profit for product. So thank you for that. Uh, that, that aligns with, uh, I feel like, how a lot of people feel here and what they do here, why people here are doing things at DEF CON. Um, 
do you want to go a little bit into the pipeline and a little bit of the process of how you do recon? Sure. Or Adam can if he, if he likes, but the, the way we describe it to people is it's a cyclic process where you start with your seed, like this is the org I'm interested in, or maybe it's a phone number. It investigates, you know, it finds out everything it can about that. It resubmits all those findings as, well, what else can we find out about these things? And it just keeps doing that until it's exhausted. It, you know, it's, it has exhausted all of the, say, paths or pipelines that can be uh, executed. So, but that is kind of an a important differentiator because many recon tools do not do that. That cyclic process is kind of key to the in-depth enumeration of the target. So it sounds like a mass, in, what, what differentiates a mass compared to other workflows? Uh, and, and how are you all um, innovating, I would say? And, and, and what, what, what right now is your, say like your one year projection uh, based on the changes you're making now? That's a good question. I'm not sure if I have the perfect answer for what is it that everyone thinks makes this better. I know a lot of people are use, using it. Um, we can see that by how many people are downloading this every day and things like that. I would like to think it's because we just simply find more, right? I mean, I would hope that's what's the metric for why people want to use this. But at the same time, it's also the, they can, it's reliable, they know we're never going to take this and make a, a, a product out of this, right? This was always, the reason this was donated to OWASP in 2018 was to make sure everyone realized this is here for you, not for us, right? It's, and it's for your awareness and making it yeah. easier for you to do this. And we're never going to take that away. So I think some people uh, feel more comfortable using it knowing that it's not going anywhere. And people can search, I guess, just to, just to be able to find this, what, what's the URL? If you want to just do a quick tw quick shout out of the URL, where, or where do you find a mass? And well, probably the best place to find, you know, to start your, say, investigation of this would be on GitHub. And our org on GitHub is OWASP hyphen or dash a mass, A-M-A-S-S. -S. That's, I mean, that's easy enough. Well, I mean, um, what else would you say? I, I know, Adam, if you want to, I know Adam's been, Congratulations, by the way. You know your success story for DEF CON, and uh, you know I, I think uh, your contributions. You have many more years to come of a lot of yeah. amazing things you're going to be accomplishing here. And uh, so, uh, you know, with Amass or in, with OWASP, what even larger than that? What, what are you What are you looking at as far as a mission, or what's driving you uh, towards, um, let's say, the next five years? What would you like to be accomplishing and working on? I just like to be. I just want to be remembered for giving back. That's the best way to put it. Uh, I mean, that's yeah. I really, I have nothing else to say. I mean, that's the one thing I think of when you say that question. So, stoic and poetic. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I try. No I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else you want to um, say as far as just in general, uh, uh, or talking about, especially specifically in recon? But it doesn't have to be. Um, Head to DEF CON. It's fun. <laughs> Exactly, you heard it here. <laughs> Head to DEF CON. If you haven't been, uh, you got to come out next year or just come out on Sunday, I guess, because it's, uh, it it's by far uh, an amazing place with the most talented, smartest people in the world coming together and doing amazing things. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> this is my highlight of the year, really. It's, I mean, like he said, so much of what we do is about community, it's about empowering everyone. But this is the place where every, where that community comes together, and we can we can really share with everybody. Yeah, we can all touch some grass together. Yeah. <laughs> all right, boys. Well, thank you so much for sitting down, and um, have a good rest of your DEF CON. Thank you. Cheers. All right.